Christina from Digital Photo Recommendations. I am here today to bring you a very short tutorial on how to create diptychs in Lightroom. Um, to get you guys started, I have created some print presets to help you create these diptychs that you can import right into Lightroom. Um, and if you're wondering where those are, um, they will be emailed in a newsletter um, to all newsletter subscribers. So if you're not a newsletter subscriber, then go ahead and sign up right away at digital.photorecommendations.com um, or uh, if you are already a subscriber then uh, just ignore it or ignore this and you'll receive uh, an email pretty soon. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have downloaded the presets and it will be in my downloads folder. Um, as you can tell, I'm not the most organized person in my computer, so I have a lot of stuff. But here it will be as a zip file, um, so I'm just going to double click and unzip that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that Lightroom is completely closed. Um, so I'm not going to open it just yet. And now that I've unzipped the DPR templates, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to my computer. Um, or actually, I'm going to right click and copy this folder. I'm going to go to my computer. I am going to make sure that I'm in the users folder and that I have selected my main account. Um, I'm going to now go to library, application support. You can tell that I do this a lot because it was already open. So I'm going to click on application support and I'm going to find Adobe and double click that. And here I will find the Lightroom folder. And this is where Lightroom stores, if you didn't already know, all of the presets, whether develop presets, export presets, import presets, everything. Um, so I'm going to go to the print templates folder and I am going to go ahead and paste the DPR templates. So now, when I open Lightroom, just give a second to load, maybe two seconds. When I open Lightroom, they will be right there. And so the uh, presets that I've created are super simple. They're um, two horizontal, so that's two horizontal images side by side, um, two vertical images side by side, four horizontal, and four vertical. Um, now you can always modify these presets to your liking. You can, for example, select one. I've just clicked here. Um, and you can adjust the height change it to whatever you want. You can add cells, so when you where you see add to package, you can just select that and it'll create a new box and you can adjust the height. So you can create as many boxes as you want. This is just to get you started. Um, you can create borders to these images. I'm actually, I think this is for just a single image. It creates a border on a single image. Um, strokes, I don't honestly don't use um, many of these just because I keep it super simple. Um, but if you wanted to create a new template, um, you would just have something like, for example, let me create a three. I'm going to add another block. I'm gonna, and I'm doing this very sloppily just to show you guys. And I'm going to select off. I'm going to click snap off. That way I can move a little bit easier up and down. And what I would do now is I would just uh, click this plus button and that'll bring me to this. And I would say two horizontal, one vertical. And I will save it into DPR templates and create and that will save it. So anytime you click out, you can always go back in. So that's how you create new ones. Um, you can always modify it, add, subtract, pretty much anything you want. So the print module in Lightroom is useful because you can actually use it with your printer to uh, physically print stuff. You can install uh, profiles that your printer can read um, and help you get accurate color and accurate brightness in your prints. But today we're just gonna talk about printing digital files.
So, for example, I have this collection of album images that I've created. And I would like to create a diptych with two vertical images. So the first thing I'm going to do is create is click on two vertical and that'll bring up the uh, preset. Um, and then secondly, I'm going to just drag and drop these two images. Um, I can always switch around the placement by redragging and redropping um, wherever I would like. Um, but I think I like the first way better. That way they're both directed towards each other. Great. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, really, there's nothing else to it. Except for um, what you have to watch for with these presets is that the aspect ratio, so a traditional aspect ratio or standard aspect ratio for 35 millimeters or DSLRs is a 4 by 6 ratio. Um, I believe this ratio is more like a, a 4 and a half by 6. So it's what that means is it's going to crop a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom of this image. So what you can do just to make sure, like say for example, I want more of the top of this image to be here. Um, I would just go to the develop module and go to crop and select the 4 by 3 aspect ratio and then just slide it up. That will ensure that when I copy and paste the image, it'll select or it'll display the area that I want to have displayed. Unfortunately, you can't zoom in and out once you are in the print preset. You're supposed to do really everything in develop. So if you need to crop or adjust the crop of something or the centering of something, then you need to do it in the develop module. So, and that's really it. The last thing before I, before I hit print to file is I'm going to make sure that this says print to JPEG file instead of printer. Um, the file resolution can be really anything depending on your choice of where you're going to publish this image. So I'm just going to say 190 ppi because for web that's, that's probably just fine. You could do print sharpening low. I'm not going to do that um, because I've already, or actually let me just do that a little bit and I'm going to do a low sharpening for matte paper. Um, quality 100% um, and the file dimensions are just what they are. Um, and now I'm just going to print, print a file. Um, and I can select where I want them printed, so I'm just going to create a folder on the desktop called JPEG prints, create, and I'm going to title this album I'm not, I think this is how you spelled it, tick. And it will save it as a JPEG. And you can see here that it's just rendering. And once it's finished rendering, we can go back to our desktop, JPEG prints, and then find it right here. And that's pretty much it. You can always take it back into Lightroom and do additional cropping or resizing. Um, you can also change it back here in the print module. Just change the size. As you can see, you can change the file dimensions. Um, but that's pretty much it. And so the reason that we're bringing you this tutorial today is because we have assigned, or we have given you guys an assignment to create diptychs. So what we want you to do is explore a subject um, and take two different pictures that tell the story about the subject. So whether you choose to get close or get far or just take two different pictures from the same distance, same angle, different angles, um, it's totally up to you. But basically you're trying to tell the story in two pictures that go well together side by side and that tell a story of a single subject. Um, and this is just a really easy way to display your diptych, to create a diptych to upload and share with us so that we can critique it in a few weeks. Um, so that's everything. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Um, and definitely look out for those, uh, those presets, those print templates that I've created that will come out in a newsletter very soon. Um, and get out there and start shooting. We really look forward to reviewing your images. Um, so that's it for today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.